Nicolas says in the Old Testament, lots of people married their cousins, including some very notable figures like Abraham and Sarah. Uh, we don't do that in modern society, mostly for fear of babies being born with serious health problems. Why did Abraham and others rather marry cousins than mix with foreigners? And so the way to understand that is really about how far should a stranger be in order to get married? If you listen to, to Mathieu's discussion with Jordan, um, he talks about that a lot. It's like, who is the stranger that loves me? That's what you need to find. And so the problem is that if you can go too far, you won't find a stranger that loves you. Uh, you know, and so if you stay too close, you know, then you have this weird circular causality. Uh, and so you have to find the right distance. What's the right distance? You know, you see that. So in scripture, right, you go to Laban, you go to your you go to the someone who's part of your family, but kind of far or a little further out from your family. Um, but there are some who succeed in marrying uh, strangers. You know, Moses is one of them uh, in a way that is that even marry the extreme stranger. And, and that's what's going on in the story of, of Christ often. The story of the Canaanite woman, for example, uh, the story of the, sorry, um, the story of the Samaritan woman, excuse me. The story of the Samaritan woman has to do with that because the Samaritan is like a lost Jew. So she's, she's like a stranger, but not that far. And so Christ can marry her. You know, he says, I came to, to, to find the lost sheep of Israel. But then there are stories in, the, in Scripture, there are moments where Christ goes even further. And it's like, it's, you know, because you have to think, it's hard for people to, to, to put themselves back in, this, in that situation. It's like, you know, what, the Jewish Messiah is going to save the whole world? Like, really? What? And so it's like Christ encounters the Canaanite woman. And, the Can and, and he's like, no, I'm here for the Jews. And the Canaanite woman's like, yeah, well. I'm a dog, you know, and I'll take the crumbs that fall off your table in crisis. Like, whoa, this woman, you know, she says, I haven't found this, you know, this faith in, in Israel. And so it keeps getting, it keeps stretching. And so even so after the resurrection of Christ, it stretches. So there's another story in the in the story of Christ where it's, it's the Roman centurion. So it's like, here's a foreigner that loves the Jews. He's a, he's a Roman, he's a centurion, but he also, he loves the God of, of Abraham. So it's like, you know, that what's that distance? And then ultimately, you know, the Ethiopian eunuch kind of shatters a lot of that. Then he goes even further because it's like impure. He's a eunuch. He's an Ethiopian, but still he's coming to the temple. So he's still, he's still like someone that, 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 and then finally, you know, St. Paul just shatters the whole thing. And it's like, no, man, if you understand the spirit of Pentecost, you understand that, you know, to the ends of the world. That's what Christ said. He said, until the ends of the earth now. So it's like, it's just this growing, growing thing that happens in the story of Christ. So I'm a little far from your question, but that's the question that's being asked in these stories. How far should you marry in order to not lose your seed and lose your strength, but then also not be so close that you run out of potential and you create this this, this wheel. And that's what happens. That's why the genetic problem has to do with running out of potential. It's like, it's, 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 <coughs> it's like, you know, remixing the same things over and over. At some point, it's like a copy of a copy of a copy. So that's why it's also kind of genetically dangerous to do that. Um, but it's also an increase in uh, characteristics. <laughs> <laughs>